insecure and incapable of loving the U.S. President Donald Trump has once again taken to Twitter to blast four Democratic Congresswomen of color, nicknamed the Squad, who have become the target of his attacks. Trump tweeted this morning, I don't believe the four Congresswomen are capable of loving our country. They should apologize to America and Israel for the horrible, hateful things they have said. They are destroying the Democrat Party, but are weak and insecure people who can never destroy our great nation. The Twitter rant was fired off minutes after Trump ripped into a Washington Post article about the fallout from his original tweets telling the Congresswoman to go back home. Now the Washington Post reported that Trump's own aides didn't think he fully understood what he'd done by posting the racist rhetoric. Writing, Trump acted alone. Do you believe President Trump is a racist? Yes, no doubt about it. And, and I, I tried to give him the benefit of the doubt. On the Sunday shows, the president's allies also defended him. Have a colorblind society, it means you can criticize immigration policy, you can criticize people's views, you can ask questions about where they're born and not have it be seen as racial. The latest flare-up adds to the firestorm that erupted last week. And was made even bigger by chance of center back at a Trump campaign rally in North Carolina. All four members of the squad are American citizens. But the crowd began chanting after Trump blasted Ilhan Omar, the only one who wasn't born in the U.S. Trump has shifted his account of how he's responded to the chant and attracted further criticism this weekend when he posted video of the incident that was originally posted by a far-right British commentator who has a long history of making anti-Muslim remarks. Men like him have been telling women like me to go back to my own country for a long time. Democratic Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez fired back at Trump this weekend, saying he egged the crowd on. He's doing this intentionally. Once you start telling American citizens to, quote, go back to your own countries, this tells you that this president's policies are not about immigration. It's about ethnicity and racism. The New York lawmaker has called for the president's impeachment, but top Democrat and House Speaker Nancy Pelosi has yet to open the door to impeachment proceedings. Many have speculated that she won't make that decision until after special counsel Robert Mueller testifies this week.